We're talking about the benchmark for Elizabeth Knox as part of the fabulous Wellington uh, Writers Walk. Uh, so I'm going to just read the quote, which is from an early piece of hers. It's actually a book of essays, so it's non-fiction by Victoria University Press in 2008. Provenance from the book The Love School. Evening light concentrated till the city and the topped up trembling horizon beyond Pencaro Head would begin to look like a seaport in someone's lost paradise. This is the, the first or the last sculpture in the walk, depending on which way you do it. That's right. Yeah, but it, it's also one that people sometimes have trouble finding. And I think that's part of the joy of the walk. Sometimes you've actually walked down some steps and you've actually walked over the benchmark, but then that's part of the fun. Where is it? <laughs> so yeah. so it's on, this one's on Kumitoto, near Kumitoto Stream, and it's near the the Kina by Michael Tuffery. That's right, and oh. they're kind of pretty green, aren't they? The so, green Kina. Yeah. But it's set onto the, onto the actual boardwalk so you walk over it and sometimes you can hardly see it even when you're quite close to it because it's right down on the ground. That's right, depends on the light. So Elizabeth Knox grew up in and around Wellington and she's very much a Wellington author, isn't she? So all, yes, all the Lower artists, Hutt, yeah. Lower Hutt, she grew up, yeah. Mm. And she, she was the middle child of three sisters and they played imaginative games and then I think I read their father said, look, why don't you write this down and she's like, ooh, ooh, so... And the, this quotation is from a story about why she wrote one of her other books, and it's going back to when she was a quite an early beginner writer, and ah. they, she and her sister were flatting in Kelvin, and this was the view that they had from their flat when, right. they, looked, when they looked out in the evening. 